uh, where? Where? Here in this barren countryside where once trees had grown, but the war had scoured this country flat and bare. It was there, a mean man, strong from the tip of his toes to the top of his head, a soldier for as long as he could remember. And he was pleased that he'd killed this man in front of him. He could not see him through the cold, scratching mist. It left a filth upon his clothes and his face and on his bare skin. He rubbed it away. He'd been searching for his father, but now he was lost. Lost in a place far from his own home and far from any map or where the rest of the army could find him. But he looked. He did not like the look of this man's face. There was something about it that reminded him of himself. Year 8, full story. Uh, where do you want me to start? It can't be uh, where. Who? Who? All through his life he'd been a mean man, strong. The army had made sure that every inch of his body was toned and muscular. But here, in this countryside, barren because of the war, he'd killed a man in front of him. His body lay there. He'd been left by his own father and he never knew what he looked for, looked like or what he looked like, sorry, what he looked like. He'd been searching in the middle of this fight to find his father, who had left them when he was a child, but now he was lost. As the cold scratching mist, filled with filth, went onto his bare skin, he could hear a ticking in the background. He thought to himself, it must be the talk of the clock in the distance. But he could hear a radio, a barking radio, someone barking orders. And it was as he went through this man's pockets, he found a camera and photographs. This photograph that was there of a man with a boy by his side. And as he looked at this man in front of him, the body on the ground and the picture in front of him, he recognised that this kill that he had made had been his own father. And the ticking in the background was nothing more and nothing less than his life being ticked away by one of his own bombs.